Welcome to the rainforest. Well, actually this used to be the rainforest. Now it's actually downtown Campinas, Brazil. And as people and our needs have pushed the rainforest further and further away, they've bathed it in concrete. And things have changed a lot down here. But now the rainforest is starting to come back. And the man on the front lines is MSU's Emilio Moran. Saving Brazil's rainforest means understanding the soil, ecology, satellite imaging, digital mapping, and its people. A revolution is happening today in science. For many, many years, uh, people have tended to work separately across many different interests. And today, they all agree on one thing. We need to work together to solve the problems. We need to integrate the mechanisms and methods of social and natural science in order to address environmental problems. Emilio's trying to save the rainforest and, well, save the planet. He's an anthropologist and a National Academy of Sciences member who's all about learning how people behave, what they believe, and value. I began by being interested in environmental problems, and it was a real struggle at the time to have anybody understand why I was mixing research on soils with research on ecology, with research on anthropology. Now, all the people who are doing outstanding science are saying, this is what we need, and we need more people like you doing it. He's partnered up with the locals and using the latest technologies to map the changes to this fragile ecosystem. But it is still about the choices people make. The choice you have to make between having economic development and uh, activity and conservation, I've always thought that, that was not a, a choice you have to make. Half of this whole state wiped out trees to grow crops, farm fields and other stuff, but lost valuable forest. Ninety-two percent of the Atlantic forest, which is a, a rainforest of comparable biodiversity to the Amazon, has been lost. So my interest is in the whole cycle of how we can learn how people can begin to conserve before we destroy 92 percent of it, as we did in the Atlantic forest. Emilio is an optimist. He says in time the forest can come back. This was a farm that was abandoned 34 years ago. And what we see here is the, the result of 34 years of regrowth. The trick of it is getting landowners to understand and buy in to allowing farmland to return to its natural state. And some are doing it. Secondary over here, uh, but that's actually a private ownership. Again, showing that you don't have to have parks as the only source of conservation. Here's a private owner who is uh, allowed that whole area to be, uh, to regrow into secondary forest. And hopefully eventually to an old growth forest. He's trying to figure all that out. And if he figures all that out, it's a big step towards saving the rainforest and other forests for future generations. Our behavior today is unsustainable. And in order to, if we don't do anything about it, if we continue business as usual, the, the planet will continue to degrade, our forests will continue to disappear. So in order to solve environmental problems today, we finally recognize in all the important scientific areas that we must integrate the natural and the social sciences to solve the problem because humans created the problem, we've got to solve them.